I'm Nicholas French, um, Artistic Director and Global Member of Matrix. Since coming to America 21 years ago, I've really got into doing a lot of dress work and long hair um, and sharing my knowledge from that. And also, you know, I love avant-garde hair, you know, because fashion is fleeting and techniques stay the same. So here we've been working on showing people techniques they can take home immediately and use in their salons. It's like the great Vidal Sassoon said that sometimes you have to go through bad times to get to good times and same with ideas. You know, and sometimes you've got a mental block and then what you've got to do is try and practice the finishes of the hair. I, d I do hair, when I'm doing avant-garde, I look at the finish of the hair first. So I get weft and I practice on a little piece of hair to see what finishes I can get. You know, and then I get excited. I'm like, ooh, that's interesting. But I always take a sketch pad with me on planes and when I travel around the world and stuff, and I'm always trying to find different shapes and seeing how I can support it with hair, you know? And a whole story, it has to be not only the hair. When you're doing, for instance, for Naha, and I'm doing a course on that, you know, the, the road to success with Naha, you have to think of all the elements, you know? All the elements, even the team that you're going to work with. You know, about the, the look of the wardrobe, the look of the makeup, the kind of model you're going to use. The thought process is so important. So I start off with the drawing of the shape, and then I look into the, is it going to be silk, is it going to be cotton, is it going to be wool, you know? And then I experiment with different finishes on the hair, and then I, and then I test it out. And always when you do a shoot, take extra pieces of hair, extra, um, completely finished pieces. Sometimes it doesn't work. It doesn't balance in threes. If you're doing avant-garde, for instance, or if you did masters, it wouldn't balance in five. We were very aware of the whole big picture, you know? And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I've been to studios and, and not even shot it. It didn't look right. I had to start again. Uh, collaboration is, I think, really a matter of trust, you know? And you've got to, years and years ago, somebody said, Nick, you need to, you need to listen more. And you need to work with people. And I think even in a salon situation, you know, have, you know, meet people, talk to people, open your mind up. Um, and you know, my job here is really to educate hairdressers, but I always think it's what I leave behind, technique-wise or styling-wise, is almost more important than what I do today. And that's what I leave behind, but I can leave with the, you know, with the, with the, our clients coming into imagination. It's much more important what they can take home Education is about the transfer of knowledge and helping people. But that's how this industry gets better and stronger. I mean, from when I started in America 21 years ago to where it sits today is an extraordinary journey. And the level of hairdressing has soared. It hasn't just, oh, it's a bit better. No, it's soared. You know, I see wonderful hairdressers in every state in this country, which is extraordinary. It was like a renaissance of Matrix when I joined 21 years ago. And um, it was very, very, I love the products. I love the, the attitude, the culture, you know? And it's been up, you know, it's, you get valleys and peaks, valleys and peaks and valleys and peaks. And then we developed and developed and developed an artistic team. Um, I was in the room when we thought of the name Craft, which I thought was amazing and what it's done in this industry. Um, and now, of course, it's a real celebration of a, a terrific company. It's in many, many, many countries. I've traveled the world with Matrix, and, you, and it's a, still the same culture. It might be in Taiwan, in Singapore, in Australia, you know, in Thailand. And it's the same kind of family culture. It's extraordinary how it really resonates through all these countries. The most important thing is our clients. It's about them. How can we make their lives better? How can we help them be more creative? How can we give them the energy and the power to look after their clients in a unique way? Um, and we have to support them with fantastic products that really perform. So it's very progressive, you know, I should say.